y'all, I'm Shayla, and there's Nick coming out the door. <laughs> Come on out. That's fine. You're fine. Um, so today, uh, I'm going to catch you guys up a little bit on some of the things that we've gotten done that I haven't filmed, um, partly because I had some family losses and loss of um, someone that I was deployed to Iraq with. So, um, I've just been dealing with a little bit of a family stuff, plus my husband has been trying to learn how to live with a new medical condition. So we are, um, we've just been busy. So, um, anyway, so I'm going to show you guys what we, it's really windy out here today. Um, I'm going to show you guys what we are going to be working on and what we have already done to this point. So I'm going to turn you around. Okay, so the first things first, we actually moved all of the grow bags that were right here off of the landscape fabric. Actually, my boys did those two. Um, <laughs> Evan and, and Nick moved those um, over so that we can just worry about uh, cleaning off the area, which we... We did sweep it, but the pollen and everything has has uh, come back, but it's okay. Um, so we're starting with a clean slate. I'm reorganizing things. We are going to be taking the T-post up as well. Um, I'm not doing that yet, but we will be doing that um, in the next week or so as we start planting. So what I'm doing this year is... Um, I'm going to uh, redo how all of this is laid out because last year it was difficult to walk in between the rows of tomatoes the way that I had it set up. So um, I'm going to also be expanding this area out here and in front uh, here. So we're going to be expanding all of that area uh, to put grow bags on and right here. <laughs> these boxes that's all um, I had ordered some compost from Lowe's and that's how it came but anyways um, so let me show you guys what else we did this area right here um, uh, all the way down uh, last year was flowers and this year is corn so as you see right there we have corn and weeds that are popping up um, but we have lots of corn coming up and there's gonna there should be three rows now we may have some issues with um, with some of it not coming up and the reason that I say that is because um, I've seen birds out here pecking so I may have to reseed some of my corn um, but what we did was we um, we went ahead and planted all this and I actually think that some of this that's coming up are seeds that I sowed last year too some that I said that maybe weeds are actually probably flower seeds that I threw out here last year and um, are coming up so anyways so what I'm gonna do because tonight Tonight is actually supposed to be down into the 30s. In fact, it's supposed to be like 33 tonight and 34 tomorrow night. So we will have to come out here and we will have to um, do row cover over this so that um, so that they won't, you know, that that the corn won't get killed off by the frost. I mean, they're, they're really teeny tiny. And we even generally, whenever it's like 35, sometimes we don't even get frost over here because I guess of, there's a microclimate right here. Um, but just to be safe, that's what we'll probably do. But we have actually a pretty decent stand of corn coming up um, on the back row but the middle row is a little sparse. So, and there's patches here and there. So anyways, we may have to reseed some of it, but that's fine. 
Okay, so what we're doing is we had wood that was my dad my dad had wood that was cut up in in back in their wooded area and so um, so we didn't have to spend quite as much money on soil to fill these bags we actually got these logs pieces of wood to put in here and that's what the boys are doing now they're putting these bags of soil in here so we can see how much more we're going to have to put in. So the thing is with the um, filling up these big bags is that um, there's a lot of space in the bottom that we that's basically going to be unused. Now if I was going to put things that had long roots in them or that kind of thing then I might want you know all of that filled up with soil but because I'm planting beans in these grow bags then they don't have really really deep roots so I really just need probably about the first eight inches of soil but it'll probably be more like about 12 inches once we get everything in so Anyway, so that's what we're doing. We're doing that, and then we are going to also get started. Um, to, probably tomorrow, we'll be um, amending a lot of the soil that we have. Um, if you look down here, these are my strawberries start that my boys and I got planted, the bare root strawberries. Um, and so they're looking great. They're actually um, blooming. So I may see if I can cover these also, especially the ones that have already put out blooms. And then that, that right there, this, this is a type of dianthus. I'm not sure, but it looks like we're going to have some flowers soon. So I'm excited about that. Last year, the compost that we purchased was like dump trucks um, of the soil and to be honest I was not happy with the quality so um, I'm much happier with the quality of this than what we had last year to work with one <laughs> they're over there playing um, so we got one area right here of the landscape fabric down and um, we got the plants watered and I'll show you um, we also have some growth on our kale and our potatoes have come up and everything and so we don't really need to worry about the potatoes for the frost um, if they get damaged the, if the leaves get damaged, it really shouldn't hurt them too much. Um, they're more frost hardy than some people think. I, I've had, um, I've been growing the potatoes in the grow bags for a while, and they actually um, went through a hard freeze. <laughs> the first year I planted them, they went through a hard freeze and still um, did well. So, um, but I will be taking in all my flats of of. Uh, tomatoes and stuff that I haven't planted yet um, we like I said before we do have to come out and cover our my corn that's come up and um, and cover the strawberries that have blossoms and fruit that's already setting so I will have to do that um, the rest of it uh, like I said, it's going to be coming inside. Thankfully, I haven't planted yet. And I've been watching really carefully because last year we had cold days even into June. So um, I've been careful not to plant too early. <laughs> um, even though our last frost date is generally around the 16th. Um, so we are getting planted later this year than average however it will be earlier than we did last year 
so um, I cannot complain not one bit and my plants look so much better this year last year I had a really rough year um, with my plants and I'm not sure why um, I don't know if it was because of the flooding in our basement and the basement was just not um, a good environment at the time I don't know if it was a if it was a humidity thing or I just don't know to be completely honest so um, I'm starting off with better looking plants so I'm excited <laughs> this year hopefully will be a really good year and um, last year we had a really hard time with slugs but it seems like this year is gonna be drier uh, the time I might have to spend a significant amount of time outside watering <laughs> all my plants and that's okay I don't mind doing that um, last year was really bad for mosquitoes and I have something this year that um, I'm going to be using for the first time that I wouldn't say I'm excited about using but I'm just gonna I'm just glad to have it so that I won't have the issues with mosquitoes I have tried everything and I mean everything with the exception of I think it's um, I don't I don't remember the name of it. It starts with a P. I will put it, I will actually type it out here. That's the only thing I haven't tried and it's because, um, it's because you basically have to spray your clothing with it and um, let it dry before you can put it on because uh, it has to be dried completely before you put it on. That's the only thing I haven't tried. I have tried essential oils like the doTERRA, um, um, Terra Shield. I have tried the Skin So Soft. I have I have tried all the sprays that are on the shelves in the in the stores. I've tried them all. I've tried taking B vitamin B supplements. I've tried eating garlic and onions, which we eat that regularly in our diet anyway. So I have tried literally everything um, so and nothing has worked for me and I'm allergic to their bites to the point where if I get bit I have they start to they get really big red welts and they blister and so I have to in, I end up having to take um, Benadryl for it and I have to take double the dose because that that's the only way it'll go away so because of that, I decided I was going to get something that would help me to uh, be able to spend time out in my garden and not feel like I'm in such a hurry to get inside because the mosquitoes are biting me. Um, because that, unfortunately, that is how um, it has been the, well, last year that's the way it was. I was in such a hurry to get in that I wasn't able to enjoy my time outside in my garden in the evenings or in the mornings and it was too hot out here for me during the middle of the day because of my um, my hypothyroidism I can't stand extremes in heat or cold so um, <laughs> so I got these it's it's actually a mosquito netting suit and I will put a link below to where I got it and a picture over here I will put a picture there um, showing you this mosquito netting sh netting suit um, and I'm really excited about it I, I mean it's kind of funny to be excited about something like that but I am um, we also have new chicks new quail chicks and um, I'm, the boys are super excited about that and Chicks are very um, fragile. I don't know how else to say it, but um, because you know, some you generally you can expect some losses when you have chicks, and so we have had a few. We lost a few, but we have we had a really really good hatch rate, and so we're excited about that. So anyways, um, I'm, we are going to go and uh, we will be back more regularly. In fact, I plan to start um, regularly 
putting out two videos a week and hopefully being able to um, maybe work up to more but at this point we're going to be doing two regular videos a week and then um, so anyways so thank you guys so much for spending time with us today and we'll see you soon